In the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean, an unusual silhouette breaks the horizon. As it draws nearer, a colossal structure becomes visible, a floating 279-foot giant crowned by an enormous white dome. This striking feature, resembling a golf ball of titanic proportions, sits atop what appears to be a modified oil rig. Stretching 103 feet high and 120 feet in diameter, the dome has a pristine white surface that contrasts sharply with the deep blue of the surrounding waters, creating an otherworldly spectacle that captivates all who witness it. From a distance, it is unclear if this strange apparition is a futuristic research station, a Hollywood prop, or perhaps something far more mysterious. In fact, this extraordinary vessel is the sea-based X-band radar, or SBX-1, a key component of the United States Missile Defense Agency's Ballistic Missile Defense System. Commissioned in 2005, it was developed to enhance the nation's ability to detect and track ballistic missiles with unprecedented precision. The SBX-1 represents the culmination of years of research and development in radar technology and maritime engineering, designed to provide a mobile, powerful detection system that can be deployed wherever it's needed most. This floating fortress is operated by a select crew of 75, 85 personnel, primarily civilian contractors bound by strict confidentiality. These individuals, experts in fields ranging from radar technology to maritime operations, work in shifts to ensure the SBX-1 is always ready to fulfill its critical mission. The SBX-1's primary component is its cutting-edge X-band radar system, this powerful technology can identify objects as small as a standard grapefruit from a distance spanning nearly the width of the continental United States. The system's antenna spans more than 4,000 square feet and consists of 45,000 solid-state transmit-receive modules mounted on a versatile octagonal base. This foundation can rotate 270 degrees horizontally and tilt up to 85 degrees vertically, enabling unparalleled tracking precision. The X-band frequency provides significantly finer resolution compared to other systems like Aegis or Patriot, giving the SBX-1 a unique edge in identifying and analyzing potential threats. This advanced radar can differentiate between actual missiles and decoys, a crucial capability in the complex world of modern missile defense. Beyond its impressive radar capabilities, the SBX-1 boasts other remarkable features that set it apart from conventional sea vessels. Its ability to partially submerge allows it to alter its profile and enhance stability in rough seas, a feature crucial for maintaining accurate radar operations in challenging weather conditions. During transit, it maintains a 33-foot draft but can lower to 98 feet during operations, ensuring steady positioning even in turbulent waters. This adaptability transforms the SBX-1 from a seafaring vessel to a stable floating platform capable of performing its vital functions in a variety of sea states. Combined with its mobility, this allows the SBX-1 to provide detailed real-time data to command authorities in ways that fixed installations simply cannot match, making it an invaluable asset in the U.S. Missile Defense Network. The vessel's prowess was confirmed in May 2017 when it successfully tracked a high-speed target mimicking an intercontinental ballistic missile. This achievement validated its capabilities and highlighted its potential to influence global strategic balance. The test demonstrated the SBX-1's ability to provide critical data for intercepting long-range ballistic missiles, increasingly important as missile technology continues to advance worldwide. The SBX-1's endurance is equally impressive as evidenced by a remarkable 396-day continuous deployment between 2009 and 2010. This extended mission demonstrated the vessel's ability to operate autonomously for long periods, a crucial factor in its role as a mobile detection platform. Despite its designated home port in Adak, Alaska, the SBX-1 has frequently been spotted in Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, thousands of miles to the south. These unexpected appearances often coincide with periods of heightened international tension, particularly involving potential threats from across the Pacific. In 2009, the ship took up a strategic position off Hawaii's coast in response to potential North Korean missile launches. Eight years later, its departure from the islands preceded a significant North Korean weapons test by mere days, underscoring its possible role in monitoring such threats. 
the vessel's ability to quietly appear where it's most needed adds to its mystique and strategic value. As impressive as the SBX-1's known abilities are, they have fueled speculation about its undisclosed capacities. Some observers theorize that this silent sentinel could be monitoring more than just missiles, perhaps tracking unidentified atmospheric phenomena or even conducting deep space observations. Its powerful radar and strategic deployments have led to theories about its capacity to track objects beyond the Earth's atmosphere, potentially playing a role in space surveillance. As geopolitical dynamics evolve and space becomes an increasingly contested domain, the full extent of the SBX-1's role in America's defense strategy remains tantalizingly unclear. As the SBX-1 continues its silent vigils across the vast Pacific, its true purpose remains shrouded in secrecy. The massive white dome, visible for miles, conceals not only advanced technology but also the whispers of countless theories. Some speculate that its powerful radar peers beyond the horizon of conventional threats, perhaps scanning the very edge of space itself. Others wonder if the vessel's frequent, unannounced appearances in unexpected locations hint at missions far beyond its stated purpose. The SBX-1's ability to vanish and resurface at will only deepens the enigma surrounding its operations. As global tensions shift and the battlefield extends into the cosmos, this floating sentinel is a testament to modern defense's unseen complexities. Its mere presence on the open seas serves as a silent reminder of the invisible web of surveillance and security that spans the globe, leaving us to wonder what other technological marvels might be hidden in plain sight, quietly shaping the course of history from the shadows of our oceans. In the turbulent annals of Cold War history, one vessel stands out as a true enigma, the USSR's space control monitoring ship, Kosmonaut Yuri Gagarin. Named after the first human to venture into the cosmos, this Soviet behemoth once prowled the world's oceans, its forest of antennas constantly probing the heavens for secrets unknown to the rest of the world. Launched in 1971, Kosmonaut Yuri Gagarin was a titan among ships. Stretching an impressive 758 feet and displacing a massive 45,000 tons, it claimed the title of the world's largest communications vessel. But it wasn't its size that caused sailors to whisper and intelligence agencies to scramble. Instead, it was the bizarre array of radar equipment that crowned its deck. Two enormous parabolic antennas flanked by two smaller ones, giving the ship an appearance more alien than terrestrial. The ship's genesis lies in the fevered depths of the space race. As Soviet cosmonauts pushed further into the inky blackness of space, the need arose for a mobile platform capable of tracking and communicating with spacecraft beyond the reach of land-based facilities. The result was cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin, a vessel that embodied the Soviet Union's determination to dominate both the seas and space. Built in secrecy at the Baltic shipyard in Leningrad, the ship was based on a modified tanker design, allowing for a vast, stable platform to house equipment that was more science fiction than science fact. To this day, many of its capabilities remain classified, lost to the mists of time and the collapse of the Soviet Union. While its primary mission was to serve as a floating mission control center, Kosmonaut Yuri Gagarin was far more than a simple communications relay. It was a state-of-the-art floating laboratory, a hive of activity where cutting-edge technology and human ingenuity combined to push the boundaries of what was possible. The ship could process mind-boggling amounts of telemetry data in real time, making split-second decisions that could mean the difference between triumph and tragedy in the unforgiving realm of space exploration. The true extent of the vessel's capabilities has been the subject of intense speculation for decades. Some believed it capable of intercepting and decoding foreign satellite communications, while others whispered of its ability to interfere with them. More fantastic theories suggested it could track and monitor any object in Earth's orbit with uncanny precision, its powerful antennas able to pluck the faintest signals from the cosmic static. Crewed by over 200 of the Soviet Union's brightest minds, a mix of sailors, scientists, engineers, and spaceflight controllers, Kosmonaut Yuri Gagarin was a floating city dedicated to unlocking the mysteries of the cosmos. 
This eclectic team allowed the ship to function as a true extension of the Soviet space program, managing complex operations far from the watchful eyes of Western intelligence agencies. Throughout its operational life, cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin sailed to the farthest reaches of the world's oceans. From the frigid waters of the North Atlantic to the balmy seas of the equatorial Pacific, it maintained a constant vigil, always positioned to keep the vital link between Earth and the Soviet cosmonauts in space. Its presence often sent ripples of unease through foreign navies, who could only guess at what cosmic secrets the ship might be privy to. Despite its impressive capabilities and storied history, cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin met an inglorious end. In the chaos following the collapse of the Soviet Union, the ship was transferred to Ukraine and ultimately sold for scrap in 1996. Yet, persistent rumors suggest that not all of the ship's advanced equipment met the scrapper's torch. Some speculate that key components were spirited away, their secrets preserved for future use in Russia's resurgent space program. As we gaze at the stars today, we're left to wonder what insights the cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin gained during its years of silent watching. The cosmic whispers captured by its powerful antennas, the classified missions it undertook that we may never know about. In the vast, silent emptiness of space, perhaps there are still echoes of its transmissions bouncing between the stars, carrying messages from a lost era of cosmic competition and Cold War intrigue. In the murky waters where international espionage meets space exploration, China's Yuan Wang fleet emerges as a subject of intense fascination and growing concern. These vessels, whose name translates to Long View, have become the embodiment of China's cosmic ambitions and a source of unease for nations around the globe. Officially, the Yuan Wang ships are classified as mere rocket and satellite tracking vessels. But since the launch of the first two ships in the late 1970s, the fleet has evolved into something far more enigmatic. The latest additions, Yuan Wang 5 and 6, are technological marvels that wouldn't look out of place in a science fiction film, their decks bristling with a forest of antennas and dishes capable of peering deep into the cosmos. The Yuan Wang fleet's conception dates back to 1965, born from the mind of Premier Zhou Enlai and personally blessed by Mao Zedong in 1968. The first ships, Yuan Wang 1 and 2, slipped from their berths at the Jiangnan shipyard in Shanghai in 1977 and 1978, marking China's entry into the elite club of nations capable of tracking space assets beyond their borders. It's not just their impressive capabilities that have caught the world's attention. It's their increasingly bold and mysterious activities. The Yuan Wang ships have been spotted in unexpected locations, far from Chinese waters, their presence raising eyebrows and blood pressures in equal measure. In August 2022, the Yuan Wang 5's appearance at Sri Lanka's Hambantota port sent shockwaves through the region, with neighboring India voicing concerns about potential espionage activities. While these ships play a crucial role in China's space program, supporting missions like the landing on the far side of the moon, the full extent of their capabilities remains a closely guarded secret. This shroud of mystery has only fueled speculation about their true purpose. Some experts whisper that beyond their stated mission, the Yuan Wang ships could be silent gatherers of intelligence or even mobile command centers poised for conflict. The latest addition to this shadowy fleet, the Yuan Wang 7, commissioned in 2016, is said to be able to operate for an astonishing 100 days at sea. This extended endurance, coupled with its cutting-edge technology, allows it to support complex space missions and potentially conduct long-term surveillance operations that other nations can only guess at. The Yuan Wang 7's construction at the Zhengnan Shipbuilding Group was completed in a mere 18 months a feat that showcases China's growing prowess in merging shipbuilding and space technology. With a length exceeding 720 feet and a displacement of nearly 30,000 tons, it cuts an imposing figure on the high seas, its true capabilities hidden beneath its innocuous exterior. One particularly unsettling aspect is the Yuan Wang fleet's ability to operate globally. These vessels can withstand nature's fury, including Category 12 typhoons 
and conduct missions across the Pacific, Indian, and Atlantic Oceans. This worldwide reach has set alarm bells ringing among international observers, who see it as a sign of China's expanding influence both on Earth and in the heavens above. While officially designated for space tracking, the ship's advanced sensor and communication suites could serve a multitude of clandestine purposes. Theories abound about their potential use in signals intelligence gathering, monitoring foreign military activities, or even as command and control platforms in future conflicts. As China continues to expand its presence in space and across the world's oceans, the Yuanwang fleet stands as a testament to the country's technological leap forward and its shadowy strategic ambitions. The silent passage of these ships across the globe's waters has led to burning questions about their undisclosed missions and the cosmic secrets they may have uncovered, hidden from prying eyes. In the ever-shifting landscape of global power and technological advancement, the Yuanwang fleet remains an enigmatic presence, embodying the mysteries that lurk in the ocean depths and the vast expanses of space. As these silent sentinels continue their solitary vigils across the world's seas, they serve as a chilling reminder of the secrets that may lie just beyond our grasp and the unseen forces that could shape the future of our planet and humanity's ventures into the final frontier.